25th of April 22 and I'm just going to talk a little bit about yeah I'm just going to talk about Angela Rayner and at the moment there's a thing that about her crossing her legs in Parliament uh, some people have been thinking she's been trying to be doing a, a basic instinct Sharon Stone thing you know try to catch Boris's eye and make him lose his place yeah, I don't know. I mean, has she actually said it's there's no truth in it? I saw she done a long Twitter tweet yesterday about eight tweets on it, but it didn't actually say this is totally false from what I remember. But because the idea that anyone can uh, anyone can intimidate. Uh, Angela, in any way, is totally ridiculous, in my opinion, you know, yeah. and with the idea of her doing that, well, it doesn't, uh, I, I wouldn't totally rule it out if I didn't, unless she says it's totally incorrect, total in truth. I mean, she's very capable, of, so I don't know how misogyny comes into it, apparently we've got misogyny, it's been brought in there. Uh, I don't know how, what does misogyny mean, does it mean hatred of women or dislike of women? I don't know how that comes into it. I mean, if she was crossing her legs or whatever to catch his eye, uh, how's that, or accusing her of doing that, how's that sort of a dislike of women or whatever? I don't know, because I mean Angela, you can't get more capable than Angela. I mean, uh, if Angela was wrong, I would still expect to lose a physical uh, situation with her, if you know what I mean. If the two years are there and Angela's wrong, she's going to use all her body language and all that to intimidate me. Well, that's how hard I, I perceive it, you know. I mean, nobody's ever said that Angela was a bully at school or anything like that, you know. You've just got to imagine, and then if you, if you imagine she was a bully at school, then you've got to think, well, I'm being prejudiced thinking that, or is it just that you're using everything that you know to think something? Because we're all prejudiced and... Uh, you know, because Angela was pretty capable, she, she was, I mean, she, what was she, she was a uh, mother at 16, so she was pretty capable in that department, uh, she's a grandmother now, I think she's got a, she left her husband recently for a, as a labour agent or something, um, very capable lady. So, I don't know where misogyny, misogyny comes into it, uh, you know, Nicola Sturgeon is probably, probably right in there. Oh, misogyny, misogyny. That's Nicola who's, who's mentioned before, she thinks George Clooney's cute. Uh, you know, so, I don't know what this misogyny is. I'm not really bothered, to be honest, but apparently they're saying that maybe Boris gets some maybe one or two Tory MPs or some Tory aides to put in the Daily Mail a story about it. But uh, I've heard this sort of thing before. I mean, in Parliament there used to be one Home Secretary, I think she was, who used to like to show a bit of cleavage. Now, it's up to yourself whether you think Parliament should be a place of cleavage or not. You know, who cares? I mean, if, if someone's showing a bit of cleavage, what are they trying to say or, you know, they try to say anything, it's, it's up to you whether you think, I would imagine, say, in an accounting agency run by women or whatever, there'd be a no cleavage rule or something, you know, uh, well, I'm not sure, that's me showing prejudice again, like I say, we're all prejudiced, but I would imagine a woman run non-parliament place would have a 
no cleavage policy, maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, but yeah, I think Nicola has straight in there. This is outrageous treatment of Angela, or rather. But to me, the question is, has anybody asked her, is, there, is it a hundred percent an untruth or a lie or whatever you want what you call it? And it's just, it just seems to be people floating an idea, you know? And uh, it may be a king's new clothes situation, you know? We, we seem to go through this a lot, but uh, yeah, that's, that's my chat about Angela, you know? Personally, I don't give a hit. Angela's very capable. Uh, it's up to individuals of the the think she, she might have been a bully at school, you know, which would mean she would be the dominant person in the, those situations and choosing a way to... Uh, choosing a way for those relationships to be... No offence, Angela. If, she's, if she wasn't a bully, I can believe, believe that as well, but she's definitely capable, you know. So I'm not really bothered. Uh, I mean, if Angela was to become the leader, it would be the Angela party, you know. And she doesn't, she doesn't look as if she really has any friends in the Labour party. This is just a... I'm sure she's got, you know, she's got her close friends. But, I mean, what I mean is she doesn't look as if she's... So if she would have much support, if she was to stand for leader again, she didn't stand the last time she, I think here, did she stand? No, I think she did stand in the first round maybe, but if she was to stand, I don't think she would win. I don't think she has any, any political backing from her Labour MPs. I'm sure a few of them like her personally and that, but I mean, personally, I f think she's a she's an okay sort of random character. I don't feel she stands for uh, common sense, really. You know, uh, maybe thirty, forty, maybe forty, fifty years ago, she you may you may have thought so, but things have changed then, and uh, she's still trying to fit in as if. It was the 1970s, you know, but uh, it was just, yeah. So that's my ramble about Angela Rayner, like I say. Personally, I, uh, I quite like Angela, so, uh, so I don't know. There you go. The other thing, uh, I think Angela's in danger of losing her seat to the next election as part of the no former Northern Wall. She won it with 48% of the vote last last time. It used to be a Labour safe seat. But last time, she got 48%. Tories get 37 but the Brexit get, party get 8 So that's maybe 47% for those two put together. So there must be a good chance she's going to lose her seat because she's part of the Northern Wall that didn't go. Just looking at Angela's Twitter now, her monologue from yesterday, the bit about lies, she says, quote, they know exactly what they are doing, the lies they are telling. So, it uh, wasn't that, she's sort of saying at third party that they're lying. She doesn't really seem to, I suppose she has seen the line, but uh, it's sort of ran a bit away. I'd prefer if she just said, these are total untruths, these are total lies. This is a total lie or whatever. But as I say, I don't know. I find her a very capable character, so I... Yeah, it's a real bit of a non-story to me. She, she said somewhere that they're trying to intimidate. Their attempts to harass and intimidate me will fail. Well, we know that, Angela. I mean, we know that just by looking at you. And that's, that would be a prejudice look at you because even if we only knew you very slightly that we could see, well, this person is very capable. There's no way you'll be able to harass or intimidate this person. It'd, it'd be interesting to know what sort of, sort of negative connotations Kier maybe mentions about Angela to his wife, 
you know. <laughs> but doesn't bear thinking to be honest. But uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's a big mountain out of a molehill, but it's one of those things, you know. It's uh, whoever gave the story. It's, I don't know. It was a daft story, but I mean, if somebody told me, it, I would think fifty-fifty. You know, just going by what I know of Angela, or my prejudice towards her. As we all are prejudiced, because we are all judging. It's the only way our brains can cope. I mean, it's the only way you can cope with danger or see threats. You know. Uh, so, I don't really know what this is all about, but there you go. On the subject of dresses, skirts, short skirts, and that at work, if you want to call it that. Uh, I think there's a, an argument that the natural thing would be for women who usually wear that sort of attire to work eh, should wear shorts or long shorts, you know, because they spend all the time crossing their legs and I presume to cross their legs so we can't see their underpants. And if you're in that sort of situation, you, then you've got to think, does it make more sense to uh, wear a pair of shorts, you know, if they want to show legs, uh, they want to show their legs, or whatever. Uh, it just makes you wonder, why are women wearing dresses, skirts, short skirts, you know, if they're having to cross their legs all the time, you know, if they can be sitting in a, an interview on TV, you know, maybe be the next Prime Minister, and they're sitting in a chair with their legs crossed all the time, and if they do move, they'll maybe quickly cross their leg to the other side, you know? If you're doing that sort of thing, you, I think there may be a natural trend for the workplaces for women to start wearing shorts, or... You know, of course, because a lot of women don't wear that sort of thing to what they wear trousers, and so they'll be in the same situation as men, but if they're wanting to wear skirts and stuff and one of their main criteria is to not show their underwear and so they're crossing their legs all the time because it can't it's probably not good for your posture either you know so i suggest that they wear shorts you know that's uh, i'm just talking from a practical sense and uh, it's not going i don't think it's going to make make the look any different because if they want to show a bit of leg, why are they showing a bit of leg? Who for? For themselves, they'll say. But, yeah, it does look to me like, funny enough, in the talk of shorts, men are starting to go towards shorts now, you know, because the weather's quite cold at the moment, but I see a lot of men get a bit of shorts. I've started wearing shorts in the summer as well, which I would really wouldn't have thought of a decade ago. A lot of men wear shorts in the winter now, you know, mainly if they're getting out of a car to go to the shops, you know, not if they're walking about, if they're just, just if they're only walking 100, 200 yards from, from their car or whatever, but yeah, just on the whole subject of short skirts and dresses, you know, in Parliament, you know, maybe uh, the natural thing would be for long skirts, but it would have to be the women's choice, of course. But that may be the women later end, so they don't have to keep crossing their legs all the time. 